If you watch any of my YouTube videos, you would know that I'm a big fucking anti-feminist. But I'm not so big as an anti-feminist to the point where I'm just pretty much anti-feminist everything. You know, if feminists want equal rights, I would want them to be, uh, I would want women to be oppressed. Um, I'm not anti-gay, I'm not anti-women, I am not anti-transgender. I support equal rights. That's why I am an egalitarian, but I am not a feminist. But, a person that I do in fact look up to has made a YouTube video about three months ago. And it stirred a lot of controversy, and I figured, well, since a couple of YouTubers are making a video response to this, I suppose I should pitch in. And let's be honest, sometimes I get a bit tired of addressing the exact same arguments. So this is going to be something fresh to me. Something that I've been yearning to do for a long fucking time. Man, I'm so bored. What can I do that's really disgusting but is socially acceptable for some reason and will get me lots of attention? I got it. Please, call me Jake Lynn. This... This is just plain insulting to transgenders. Like, this is no different from fucking blackface. During the... 1860s where, you know, the whole Jim Crow law bullshit where, like, you know, there's this guy who dresses up like a black guy and start making fun of how stupid black people are. <laughs> Bloody niggers. Don't kill me. You know, I'm not insulting black people. Hey, don't, don't kill me. You are such a hero. 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 I can see on how some people might consider some trans folks to be fucking heroes because they live such a difficult life. Some of the parents are very strict to the point where, like, um, if the kid comes out as um, transgender or even gay, they'll abandon him. They'll, you know, whip him to death. You know, and you know, smack him with the Holy Bible. So I can see on how, what, and why uh, some people might consider trans folk to be heroes. But to you, it's just some form of trend. That's all it is. You know, just put on a wig and some makeup, and there you go, you're trans. <laughs> no, 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 no. Trans folks don't just decide one day to become a woman or a man. These people struggle with themselves. And some of these people have almost committed suicide just being in the wrong body. So imagine that. Struggling with your inner self just because you are not happy with the body that you have. And you feel like you deserve to be in the opposite sex. Hey guys, Hunter Avalon here, and I really hope you're ready for this video, cause I know I am. Holy shit, I just realized something. You're the right wing version of Onision! You even sound like that motherfucker! Holy shit, why didn't I not see this before? Let's begin. Truth is, being transgender is not normal. Sorry, but the idea that you're a man trapped in a woman's body, or a woman trapped in a man's body, is simply not normal. I know what exactly is normal. Is it normal to believe in God? Is it normal to eat, oh jeez, I don't know, snails? Explain on what exactly is normal, according to you. When people get their body parts hacked off and replaced with new ones during a sex change, that simply is not normal. So apparently that's how a sex change operation works. Apparently you just hack off your penis and then you're like, a woman, yay, woo! Yeah, that's, that sounds legit. And I don't think it ever will be. Despite what the left-wing hypocrites have to say, I don't think we should just shrug our shoulders and accept this very strange behavior. I think we should work together and get these people help. Yeah, remember all those gay camps that apparently puts all the gays into this camp where they 
you know, try to change their sexuality to being normal again. You know, you remember how successful that was? No? No? Okay, yeah, yeah. Probably gonna be the exact same result as this. In 2015, a John Hopkins psychiatrist named Dr. Paul McHugh says that being transgender is a mental disorder and a sex change is biologically impossible. The pro-transgender advocates do not want you to know that studies show 70 to 80% of children who express transgender feelings spontaneously lose those feelings over time. He then says that a sex change is biologically impossible and to claim this is a civil rights matter and to encourage surgical intervention is in reality to promote a mental disorder. He says it's completely bigoted and makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. Whatsoever. Um, source Jacqueline Lynn. Don't fucking kill me over it, but yeah. I hate to say it, but I got my source from Jacqueline Glenn. And besides, wouldn't it make more sense to have a bunch of scientists come together and agree on this rather than just one simple person? Just one person? But come on guys, we can just ignore that. Let's just keep giving out operations. That's what stupid people like to call smart. This leads me to my second truth. Truth is, gender is not a social construct. Yes, I agree. Gender is not a social construct. But unlike biological sex, you can in fact change your fucking gender. But not into some gender that's just fucking made up out of nowhere. Like, nanogender. The entire notion that gender is just a social construct and you can pick and choose your gender is a bunch of Tumblr bullcrap. And no, I don't care about what Harry Ugly Lacey Green has to say. I care about facts and I care about reality. Oh, the irony! This one blogger named May goes as far as to say that even sex is a social construct and can be changed. She even goes as crazy as to write, There's nothing male about XY chromosomes, testosterone, body hair, muscle mass, or male body parts. Uh, uh, teacher? Miss May? Question? Yeah. So, let me get this straight. What makes a man a man isn't really what makes a man a man. Uh, okay. Got it. There are men out there who are born with XX chromosomes and women with XY chromosomes. So she's not entirely wrong, but she's not exactly right either. Oh look, she's a lesbian trans woman. This is all starting to make a lot more sense. And where's the science to prove all this? I've looked online and all I see are blogs or articles with no proof given. Now you look up gender is a social construct, but not transgenderism is normal. Huh, I wonder why. Could it be because it might crumble your narrative? Even the definition Google gives me admits this is a view present in many theories about gender. It's only a theory. Your feelings just don't matter. Evolution is a theory, and yet we teach it. Gravity is a theory, and yet we teach it. So why not this? Only facts do. And remember, facts always trump feelings. This absolutely ridiculous idea opens the door to all kinds of insanity. For example, this 52-year-old father ditched his family and now identifies as a six-year-old girl. Look, I totally agree with the fact that this guy is mentally fucking retarded. Hell, I made two fucking videos about him. Not one, but two. And the second one was incredibly cringe-inducing. Like, I wanted to pour fucking bleach down my fucking eyes! <sighs> but, we have to draw a line. I'm willing to accept transgenderism when it comes to sex, not transableism or transageism. Because apparently that's a thing now, you know? Transable and transage. Even worse, this 20-year-old Norwegian nutcase identifies as a cat. Yes, 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 and I also made a video on her. Unfortunately, the video has been blocked worldwide, so you can't watch it. You think she's crazy right now? 
Just wait until you see her after she's eaten the catnip. Because of this ridiculous gender notion, you are opening the door to insanity. Hi YouTube. So, since gender is just a social construct, and men can be women, and women can be men, and retards can be animals, I can finally come out of the closet of Value City and be my true self. I am trans sofa. I identify as a sofa on the weekends and a potato on the weekdays. The argument is no different from the right-wing propaganda shit uh, about how if we allow gay marriage to be legalized then eventually they're going to start trying to legalize pedophilia and necrophilia. Granted Salon is trying to normalize pedophilia but unless social justice warriors take over the world completely which I doubt that will ever happen then no no it's not gonna happen it's, it's just not. This, this, this is just fucking crazy. This argument is shit. My pronouns are Z, Zai, and Zumi Lumi. Chromosomes are what give you your gender, and they cannot be changed. It doesn't matter how much testosterone or how much estrogen you get pumped into you. Truth is, transgenders are not heroes. Well, it all depends on the situation at hand. If they're transitioning just for the sake of transitioning and, you know, they're not suffering for it, then they're not really heroes. They're just transitioning into the, uh, the sex that they desire. But if some transgender happens to save someone else's life, then yeah, that transgender happens to be a fucking hero. Whoop! This is something that bothers me to no end. That liberals, social justice warriors, and feminists all act like coming out as transgender or getting a full sex change makes you some kind of a hero. Caitlyn Jenner is not a hero, so stop treating him like one. Caitlyn Jenner killed someone. Oh, but let's just ignore that because he's a hero now. South Park already mentioned that. You're a bit late to the party, bro. Jenner accepted the Courage Award. The President of the United States tweeted Jenner, calling it courage. That's right, guys. A little chop and stitch never failed to get me a liberal's approval. Although, there are still people out there who consider transgenderism to be immoral. And the fact that someone who is extremely um, famous is coming out as trans. And it takes a lot of courage to become trans when there are all these people out there who is extremely bigoted towards transgenderism. So, yeah, I can see on how the President of the United States is pretty okay with this. On top of all this bullcrap, the worst of all, Jenner even won the Woman of the Year Award. You could have chosen anyone at all. Would you tell someone with a serious mental illness like schizophrenia that he's a hero? Probably not. Again, it all depends on the situation at hand. If the schizophrenic turns out to be, oh geez, I don't know, some form of superhero, or, you know, just happens to save someone's life, then yes, I would say, that person's a fucking hero! So stop commending transgenders. It's a mental illness, not heroism. And lastly, truth is, transgenders deserve rights, just like everyone else, but they do not deserve extra rights. Of course, transgenders want to be equal to cisgender people. There's nothing wrong with that. The only people that I know who are, who believe they deserve extra rights are people like Milo Stewart. Yeah, the so-called non-binary boy. You want to go put on a dress and tell everyone you identify as a woman? Great, you have the right to do that. You want to identify as a six-year-old girl today and then be a cat tomorrow? Cool, go for it. You have the right to be a transgender, but you do not have the rights to infringe on other people's rights. I've seen this happen in locker rooms and bathrooms. Back in 2015, controversy arose because of this. The whole transgender bathroom bullshit again. Why am I addressing this again? More than 150 students walked out to protest the use of a girl's locker room by a student who was born male but identifies as a female. The students have every right to protest this. It's an uncomfortable situation and I fully agree with them. What's even worse though is that this transgender student has no respect for the girl's privacy rights at all. He goes on to say, and They are claiming that they're uncomfortable. I don't believe for a second they are. And I don't believe for a second that you're a girl. I think this is pure and simple bigotry. Disagreement does not equal bigotry. <sighs> Yes, I understand the situation at hand. I don't agree with you, but I don't agree with that person either. 
I believe that transgenders who are legitimately transitioning should be able to use the bathroom that they're trying to transition into. You know, give it like maybe two or three months and you should start using the gender, the bathroom that you want to start using. If you are legitimately transitioning, that is. Based on past evidence, these girls have every reason to be uncomfortable with the transgender in their bathroom. Who's to say this isn't a predator? This kind of thing has happened before when a man dressed as a woman filmed hours of footage in women's bathrooms. And another time when a teen wearing a wig and a bra was found in a woman's bathroom. And there's the evidence. Hey Cody, you watching this video, you shitty motherfucker? You know, I'm talking to you Cody, the one with the very poor tattoo on your chest. Yeah. There's your evidence right there. A few years ago, a woman's Planet Fitness membership was revoked after she complained about a man in her bathroom. Cormier is talking about a man who walked into the woman's locker room while she was getting undressed. She says she couldn't believe her eyes. They proceeded to tell me that they have to embrace whatever sex somebody thinks they are and that they're allowed to use whatever restroom that they would want to use. But she says this man looked like a man and that caught her off guard. Credibility is giving what it's due. You actually do show some proof. So, yay. I personally believe that you should be required to use the bathroom based on your body, not your mentally decided gender. Again, your rights as a transgender do not trump anyone else's rights. Being transgender is a mental illness, hardly heroism, and if we start calling it what it is, we can work together to fix the problem and help those who are currently suffering. Well, that's the end of the video, and I'm sure 80% of the comments will be, you're transphobic! But Sorry buddy, but it's just not like that. Sure, you might have presented evidence, but your entire argument could be just labeled down as, look at these people, this is not normal. If we normalize this, then other things will be normalized, you know? We get to have sex with dogs and cats and cactuses and dead bodies and little girls. Yeah! <laughs> uh... There are people in the comment section you know, writing more than a simple sentence proving you wrong. And this video response is it's just simply too easy. I expect better from you, Hunter. Seriously, I subscribe to you for a reason. You know, you speak out against social justice. But this transphobic bigotry is fucking retarded as hell. Screw that. I'd rather be called transphobic and have some common sense. Speaking of common sense, if you have any at all, go check out at the typical liberal, at tomorrow's conservatives, and at conservative patriot on Instagram. That explains it. You're a right-wing conservative. Like, ultra right-wing conservative. Oh, fuck me. I've subscribed to a goddamn conservative. I am the atheist gamer. Peace the game.